Hello and welcome back to another video. We uploaded our van tour video a few weeks ago and while we were filming it we thought we really should do a video about 30 things that everyone needs in a van because we still remember when we packed our van we were so stressed we weren't sure what to bring we didn't want to overpack but we also didn't want to forget half of the things so this is a video for you if you are packing your van and you're not sure what to bring here are 30 things that we think everyone that lives full-time in a van should bring there's a few things that are quite obvious but also a few things that we for example forgot and we had to buy them while we were already on the road and then also a few things that we think would be really helpful that maybe most people don't think about before we start showing you specific items we actually have three rules that you should follow when you're packing your van number one bring the things that bring you joy that you love at home bring them in the van even if they're bulky things you're gonna miss them and you want to make sure you love your time in the van for us for example that was our toasty maker we love making toasties so we packed it and put that in first and then sort of packed around it um, same thing with our coffee machine Matt is really into surfing so we even designed something in the back and even thought about it before we built the van so really think about the things you use every Every day in your life and yeah work around it and bring it number two don't bring things that you think you'll start getting into while you're on the road for example for us I brought boxing gloves because I thought I wanted to get into kickboxing and I haven't used them once we also um, brought two bikes Matt really wanted to get into mountain biking and he has done a little bit of it but we actually ended up selling our bikes along the way and lost a bit of money so don't bring things or don't think that you're gonna start getting into a completely new routine while you're on the road it's most likely that that's not gonna happen and then rule number three is don't bring too many clothes we overpacked in terms of clothes all of the other things we have been fine like there's nothing really that we had to give away or that we kind of regretted to bring but clothes we definitely overpacked especially on the road you wear the same thing over and over again um, so yeah bring half of what you think and then if you did forget something you can buy it along the way so yeah don't overpack don't do what we did and bring too many clothes <laughs> so yeah we're hoping that this video will be helpful while you're packing so you know exactly what to bring and hopefully it will save you some time and stress we have made four categories so we have kitchen and household items storage outdoors items and then also techie and entertainment items so let's get into it Our first item in the kitchen is this washing up bowl. We do have a normal size sink, but we just do our washing up in this bowl all the time. To save water, you want to save as much water as you can in a van. So this washing up bowl has been perfect for that. While we're talking about washing up, this is item number two, which is our drying mat. And it also has a drying rack, which we use every day for doing our washing up. It packs away really compact and really small and we just have it under the sink it can actually stack a lot of things on there and the mat itself dries really quick because it's made out of microfiber so love this item item number three are these non-slip mats that we have between all of our plates our mugs and also our bowls um, this helps while you're driving so nothing is rattling in the back which would be super annoying so these have been really helpful Item number four, which is the last kitchen specific item, is our bin, which has a lid, which is really important to keep the smell in. You don't wanna open up your beautiful van and you are welcomed by a nasty smell. So highly recommend having a bin with a lid. I was lying, we have one more item that is in the kitchen, which is our ice cube tray. We didn't pack that initially because, I don't know, I kind of felt too bougie to have ice cubes, but we had a fridge that has a small freezer and we didn't really use it. So on the way, we bought one of these and it ha has been really nice just to have iced coffees or cool your water. It gets really hot while you're traveling and we actually ended up buying a second one so we thought we'll add it to the list of 30 things you want in your van an ice cube tray item number six are pegs and you also want to think about 
some sort of little bag that you can put your pegs in. Um, we did think we packed quite a few, but in hindsight, we should have packed even more pegs. So bring a lot of pegs. Um, we try to do our washing every two weeks, every 10 days, and then just do a big load of washing and you will need lots of pegs. Um, we usually do it at a caravan park so we can use their clothesline. Um, and yeah, it is windy all the time, especially when you're in Western Australia, which is where we are now. And yeah, definitely want to bring pegs. Oops. While we're talking laundry, you also want to bring a laundry bag. This is something that we had to buy while we were already on the road. We thought we would just use plastic bags and some random bags, but it was always just annoying and we wanted one space where we can collect all of our laundry. Like I just said, we end up having a big load of laundry usually. So yeah, definitely want to bring a laundry bag or just think of where you want to store it in your van. It's a laundry basket, not a bag, but it folds up which is handy because if you don't have any dirty laundry you can just have it in the back like this ha. item number eight is our Dyson or I guess any other cordless vacuum that you have we weren't really sure about that one it seems a little bit extra but we are so glad we brought it for obvious reasons vacuuming our space is small but it gets dirty really quickly but also for bugs. We have a lot of bugs in the van at the end of the day, especially if there's mozzies around, we just suck them up and we hate mozzies, we hate flies. So we use this all the time to kill bugs. Now we already knew we were gonna bring our Dyson, but we still ended up throwing in a dustpan and a broom and we're really glad we did. So we definitely suggest bringing both. The broom is really handy to clean up the front. There's always sand in there, mud, um, lots of dust as well so we just swoop that out and then also to clean our feet when they're sandy before we get into the van so super handy to have that as well as the Dyson. Item number 10 and this is the last household item is a mirror just a small mirror that I picked up from Kmart last minute and I'm so glad I did. Originally I thought I would just use the front um, the mirror in the front to do my makeup and my skincare routine but it would have been so annoying at the end of the day you're getting ready for bed to just like jump back into the cab especially because we can't walk through to the front from in here. Um, so yeah super glad that I picked this up from Kmart. Our first item in our second category are hooks. We already mentioned that in our van tour, but I can't mention it often enough. You really want as many hooks as possible in your van. Using the wall space is just such a great way to add storage to your van. We use the hooks to hang up all sorts of things, wet towels, wet bikinis and board shorts, our hats, our keys. So yeah, definitely get some hooks in your van. Now the next item you would have also already seen in our van tour and it is my packing cubes. Matt and I have a bit of a competition going on on whose storage system is better. I think mine is so I wanted to add the packing cubes in this video. I've labeled them with some black tape so I can just easily get them in and out and I know what's in there. And yeah, they're super handy and you can also use them while you're traveling on a plane. Um, really handy. Our next item is Matt's toiletry bag, which has a hook so he can hang it up on the wall. Again, you want to use your wall space as much as you can. And this is great because that leaves me a whole overhead cupboard for my toiletry. So thank you, Matt. That's very kind. We're back in the kitchen. We are under the sink and the next item is another drying rack. We don't actually use it for dishes. We don't use it for plate or anything. We use it for our lids. We stored our lids um, for a little while just with our pots in one of the big drawers, but it was getting so frustrating. Every time you had to get one pot out, you had to get all the lids out and it was just way too annoying. So we picked this up at a $1 store. Um, it's kind of like a slim drying rack and it makes the space under the sink really organized and we're really happy with that system. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the next category, which is electronics. And that sort of encompasses entertainment, tech, and some security. The first item in the next category is an Apple AirTag. And we hide this in the van, so in the case that the van is stolen or something happens, we know where the van is at all times. It's a little safety device and it's 
you know, something that we never really think about, but it's definitely good to have. The next is number 16, a personal favorite of ours, and that is our external Bluetooth speaker, our little Bose box. And we love this thing because it produces a fantastic sound and it's small, compact, doesn't take up much room at all. And it's even got this bit at the end where you can hook it up and leave it places like the hooks that we have around the van. We take it to the beach, we listen in the back here, it's awesome. You need to have music on the road, it is a must. Now, I didn't think that we would actually need this at the start, but this camping light has been a game changer. We use it outside a lot when we're, we've got our outdoor table outside and we're having dinner. And Megan uses it during the night when she gets up. If you need to use the toilet or whatever, you don't want to be turning all the lights on. And this just provides a nice soft light and yeah, it's been really handy. Another item that is an absolute essential, I believe, and I've had a lot of fun with is our drone. We chose to get the DJI Mini Pro 3. You see so much more than you usually would. We've spotted animals, we've spotted dugongs, whales, and to have that as part of your memories is priceless. So I would highly recommend getting a drone. The next item for the tech or entertainment list is our Starlink. Starlink internet is satellite internet and you can use fast broadband internet wherever you go. We just attach it to the top of our van and it has been a complete game changer for us. The other advantage is that it's good for your security if something was to happen or if you were to get a breakdown or have an accident somewhere and you were really remote, we can always just put our Starlink up and call for help. We've also spoken to a lot of people on the road who weren't really happy with the alternatives like signal boosters and they've now been going and buying Starlink. We know it's a little bit more expensive but the initial setup cost is only buying the dish and then your monthly repayments which you can cancel at any time. Oh, you called me Reedy again. <laughs> 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 This one isn't mine, but it's something that Megan's used a lot on the road and it's a Kindle. Having a good book to read is pretty important when you have time and you want to read. A Kindle is a great option because of the wide selection of books. Everyone knows what a Kindle is, but you don't want to have a million books on the road. This cuts down on storage and Megan has read so many books on the road. So this has been a great little device that we've used on the road. So now stepping from the inside out, we've got a category of outdoor items, which are used quite a lot because that's where you want to spend the majority of your time if you're traveling around. The first item on our outdoor list is this toolkit. Now we haven't had too many things break on our way around the country, but if something does, you want to have the tools to be able to fix it rather than having to go into a shop. And the more remote you are, the more you're going to pay. So if you have a little toolkit, you can repair the majority of little things that break and they're just really handy to have. The next item that we have is this retractable hose and this has been super important on the road because you'll need to fill your tanks up often obviously but the biggest benefit of this is how small and compact it can reel up to. It's actually an Australian made and owned company called Flat Out International and I would highly recommend this because you don't want to be carrying a massive hose and having to, you know, try and wind it up tightly. This does it all, it's retractable and it doesn't really make much of a mess. And when we finish with it, sometimes it does leak a little bit. So the second part of this is that you do need a dry bag to store it in. So we've just, you can really use any sort of dry bag and it fits in nice and snug and that way you don't get any water throughout the van. The other good thing about this dry bag is that you can use it if you're going on a hike or if you're going um, kayaking or something like that. You could actually just take the hose out and you could use the dry bag for fun activities. You also need a couple of attachments for taps and water hoses while you're traveling around. So a hose connector is really important. This one goes off in two components because sometimes you have a fat or a skinny tap. So this one can be twisted off to make two different parts. The other thing that you'll need as well is this universal tap adapter, which you can get from Bunning. Sometimes the taps that you'll find around the place, they don't have a handle and you'll need one of these guys. 
The next item is head torches. I didn't think that we'd be using these guys very often, but it, as it turns out, they've been really, really useful on the road. If you wanna do anything at night, you'll need to have some sort of light source and head torches are great because you can still use your hands and walk around and yeah, we use them quite a lot. So Megan was right on that one again. The next item is a key safe. So if I'm out surfing or if we're going for a bush walk, Sometimes you don't want to be carrying your keys with you or you can't. So a key safe is great. We hook it onto the back of the van. It's a little combination number and we can put our keys in there and walk away from the van and we don't have to carry our keys. One item that would be top of the list, things that you need in a van or a caravan has to be a fly net. These have been absolutely fantastic to keep out flies and mosquitoes on our travels. This particular fly net is made by Living in a Bubble. It's a company out of the Gold Coast. The magnets stick really well to the side of the van. It folds up into its own little bag. The quality is really great. We haven't had any problems with it. And I just have to reiterate, this has to be on your list. Don't go to Bunnings and get a cheap one. Spend a little bit more and get a good quality fly net from Living in a Bubble. Now this one's a little bit unusual, you may not know what this is, but this product is called a Bite Away and it's made in Germany, Megan's from Germany so she's more familiar with it than me. If you get bitten by mosquitoes, it's really handy to have one of these things on the road. There's two different settings and how it works is you press it on a bite site, so you get bit by mosquito. You press it on the mosquito bite, you hold it on, it heats up. It is a little bit painful, but it stops the itch at its source. You don't need any creams or anything like that. You don't need to store it in a fridge. You just need this. It's a bite away and it's fantastic. Camping chairs. Everyone has them and everyone has an opinion. You've got to find the camping chairs that are comfortable for you. We didn't spend a heap of money on these ones. I think they're about 50 bucks from BCF. And they've been great. They've got cup holders, drink holders. We find them comfortable. They pack away nice and neatly, but you definitely need to have camping chairs. You're gonna be outside either eating or cooking, chilling, relaxing, and you wanna be comfortable. So get a comfortable camping chair. Next, we have this fantastic mat, which creates a third living area outside. We usually use it under the awning and it just lets you go in and out from the van without bringing dirt or sand in. and because it is this plasticky sort of material, it doesn't really collect any dirt. So we can easily put it in the back of the van and we're not carrying around any dirt or dust. The final item on the list might be small, but it is important, that's super glue. If you get a chip or a crack on the windscreen, you can just dab a little bit of super glue and that's gonna prevent that crack from splintering across the screen and having to replace the whole thing. So super glue, for the windscreen but obviously it has many different purposes and that's it guys these are our 30 items that we think everyone should have in a van if you think we forgot something or there's an item that you use on the road that you find really important let us know in the comments below yeah and we'll also put all of the products in the description and links to the websites hope you found something useful and we're a little bit entertained along the way <laughs> <laughs> see you in the next video Bye. Bye. See ya. Sheep. So many cars. And they're so noisy. And in the case that someone was to nick the van, uh, at least we know where it is. <laughs> it would be horrible. We'd probably be in the back. <laughs> and we'd be screaming. Stop being my van. <laughs> Get in contact, we'd love Babe, to speak to you. Babe, <laughs> do that! Do it again! Oh, come on! Babe.